What is going on guys? Fatal Reaper Day bringing you guys a video. Today's video will be showing you how to get the netherite upgrade or the smithing template for the netherite. That way you can make your diamond gear or diamond uh, armor into netherite. Before we begin guys, be sure to like and subscribe as always and let's get into it. So before we go into the nether, I do recommend that if you have not, go ahead and beat the end dragon, go into a uh, end city and get you a pair of wings. Um, once you have the wings, of course, then you want to make rockets and that way you can fly. I do recommend having a totem of undying and some, uh, definitely fire resistant potion as well. As you will be flying through the nether, this is the simplest and quickest way to get it. You can mine and look for these, uh, structures we're going to be talking about in just a second yourself is a little bit harder to do this is where the second step here comes in so if you haven't already i do recommend putting a lodestone if you put a lodestone in the nether and then use your lodestone compasses i have some right here in these uh, shulker boxes that way it will point directly right back to your lodestone of course that way you know exactly where the portal you placed was or third option you can bring a uh, tin obsidian and a flint and steel, and that's another way you can get back out of the nether. But this, this is a simpler way, that way you can get back to wherever your, your home is, and that way you can come back with your templates and start making your armor. Now, the things we're going to be looking for to find these templates are going to be called bastions. Now, these are look like big, like, dungeon type things, like right here. It's going to be a bunch of black stone, and this is, it's going to have a lot of enemies. So this is why you want very good armor, at least good enchanted diamond armor, diamond swords, and a lot of building blocks as well as bow and arrow or a crossbow as well as a good knockback sword and a fire aspect if you have it it's 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 going to get very hectic and you'll see exactly what i mean here in a minute especially with your building blocks now once you find one of these very important and again i would leave your wings on that way you can get to and from and get away in hairy situations but i do recommend building a lot of building blocks and leaving one block on built so don't build a, build a full bridge kind of give yourself a little bit of gap in between there and the reason i say that with a knockback sword is you can knock back these enemies we're going to be seeing which is uh, a bunch of pigmen uh, or pillagers i'm not exactly sure what they're called we uh we always call, call them uh pillagers in here so um they're like zombie pigmen but 10 times worse and they do a crap ton of damage so do be very careful around it they will uh, you can be killed instantaneously just from a few hits, especially if they all gather up on top of you. So do leave like a little bit. As you can see out here, I got a gap and they're all lining up. And you just take out the blocks and then shoot them with your bow and arrow from a distance. And just smack them down for the rest. That way they fall and you don't have to worry about that. Do collect those gold blocks too. We'll be getting into that in just a minute. So to get your netherite gear afterwards, to get your netherite ingot, you will need gold to, to combine with ancient debris. That is what, and that is in a video, if you guys want to go see that, do check that out. I'll have it pop up here in the right corner. It is how to farm um, ancient debris, which is aka basically netherite. So, before that though, and before once you get netherite, you have to have this next step. So, there's two steps into this. So, this is where the template comes in. And this is right here, what I'm showing you guys now is the bastions, of course, like what we just talked about. This is where you're going to find the templates. However, I'm going to be showing you at the end of this video why you only need one, and a lot of people make this mistake. As you can see right here, you're going to look for the chest. There's always going to be a chest in the middle, especially in a big one like this. There's typically always chests. There's usually two or three chests, or um, there's a, I've, I've found up to like six or seven chests in a whole full bastion. But you're going to look for this thing right here. It's called the smithing template, netherite upgrade. Now, once you've got this, very important, get out of the nether. Get back home, and if you'll come see right here with just nether rack, one template, and some diamond, you can continuously make these templates. This is very important, meaning you do not have to go back and search bastions. And as you can see, it only takes seven diamond, netherrack, which is easy to come by, and one of the templates. So once you get one of the templates, you are good to go. Do not make mistake that other people's made, myself included. Do not use it. And always keep one. Always keep one in a chest. That way you will never run out, and you can always duplicate it or make more, uh, essentially, in the end. So, that, guys, is how you find the netherite upgrades, and then this is how you make it with a netherite ingot. And for a future video, I'll be showing how to upgrade your armor. Like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.